Hi guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Coloss Shadow of the Colossus. <laughs> Colossus of the Shadow, with me, OXFU. And last time, who did we defeat? We defeated the giant troll guy. And that means we got another in store. Next guy actually, you know what, I'm not, screw the voice. I'm not waiting for the voice this time. The next one is actually a giant electro monster, an underground electric e- uh, underground. Underwater electric eel. As this guy will tell us in a second. And, well, we'll get to the guy- we'll get to that guy when we get to him. Um... Thy next foe is... A ruin hidden in the lake. In the loch. A ripple of thunder lurks underwater. Which, you'd think that as soon as we jumped in the lake, Guy with electricity in water would die as soon as we hit it, but well, whatever. <laughs> Guess it must not be very conductive. Um, well, surprisingly enough, that's supposed to be the reason why you die, <laughs> that it's not conductive at all. Because um, if water were conductive, well, flesh would be conductive if water were conductive, and it would pass right, right through us without 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 a pain, but because water's not conductive, that's where the heat comes from, and that's why we die. Uh, random science fact for the day, I guess. I don't know. And uh, we're going that way. I'm trying to remember exactly how to get through this guy. Oh right, that's that's right. This is the guy where I always get a little mixed up when on the way, um, as you'll see. As I die. <coughs> mm. Sorry about that, guys. I'm actually pretty sick right now. That's the reason I'm recording this right now, because I didn't actually go to school today. Um, and I've missed out on all this stuff, because I've been pretty sick the last few days, and crap's been happening, and yeah, you'll hear more about it in a bit. But, um... Yeah, uh, really hard to breathe and stuff, so, stayed home from school, um, finishing up a paper that's a little bit late, my little, my little 18th century British homosexuality paper, and literary influences and stuff like that, and I've only got like 100 or 200 more words to write in it, so it's pretty, it's almost done. But I wanted to play Shadow of the Colossus, which means I get to record, because I'm not gonna... If I don't record, then I'll regret not recording, so... <laughs> Gotta record. Uh, this is the only place I really get lost in this game, so... Or yet, because I've only gone through half the Colossi, pretty much. Um, so... I think it's this way. Well, you'll see. You'll see anyway. I'll get a bit turned around anyway. Um, but no, I started getting sick earlier this week, and of course it went through my mind. Come on, don't get sicker. Get better. You're better. Because Anime Boston was this week, and I went, and I had a fun time for when I was there. But most of the time, I spent cooped up in my hotel room, right? My paper, which half the reason I didn't have my paper done was because I was so sick and out of it. I just, I don't know, I couldn't focus on anything. I was, I was dizzy, I was nauseous, I was hacking up my throat and lungs. So I couldn't do much. Uh, so, went to Anime Boston. Again, had fun when I coded, I got mostly bought stuff, but whatever. Um, George Terra, got it for 30 bucks. Awesome! If you haven't seen that, you should check it out. Um, it's actually a remake of a 1980s anime movie, uh, also by the same name, Towards the Terra, which was absolute crap. Absolute crap. Um, oh, hey, I didn't get, I didn't get turned, around, turned around this way. Well, I also didn't go through the can canyons. Why are you stopping? But, um, no, the anime series does a much better job than the movie did. Because it's just a lot, well, more, uh, it's a lot better written. Yeah. And it's not crap 1980s pre akira animation, so. <laughs> uh, so here we are 
at the lake. You can go for a swim, you know, cool off a bit. Now it's getting a little warmer out. Not call our horse, I guess. But uh, yeah, no, got to got to miss out on most of the band. I lost him, and then on the way back, we found out that my battery had actually died, and my alternator might be dead. And not even my, in my own in my own car, because you know you all know that my car died. Um, in my mom's car. So that's the second car that I've been having troubles with this year, this semester. <laughs> I know, right? Um, so we got that jumped. We left, went down 91, missed 90. We found out we were running out of gas, and we ran out of gas going back towards 90. So we pushed the car into a parking lot, uh, my, f my friends got some gas from a test station nearby and put it in the car. A nice couple who had stopped on the exit to see if we were okay came and helped us jump it and try to get the gas into the system. But Because, again, our battery was dead. Uh, so, alright, for this guy, you just have to hover around, like, get his attention. It'll as, as long as you're in the water, he'll pretty much come after you. It's just a matter of well, getting him to come after you. <laughs> I don't know any real way to explicitly get his attention, but it looks like he's coming up anyway. Yep, here he comes. And just make sure you're not shocked by this thing. You'll see the halo of electricity, and who cares? We got shocked. Oh well. We'll get the health back anyway. And then just wait for this to come up. Submerge, grab on, and you're good. Let me just follow him underwater. What? Nope. Okay, there's some music. See, I like the music when it's here. But then, they just don't use music enough. That's the one thing I don't like about this game. There's just so many times when there's just stark silence. And yeah, it's, it's epic. It makes you feel alone. But I just wish there was more music, because music in a video game, if it's really good, is amazing. No, 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 no. Come on, grab on, grab on. Yes, we grab on. Okay, okay, I don't want to try to get this guy's attention again. <laughs> Probably won't. No! Well, whatever. Whatever. Don't even try to climb up. So we got to get this guy's attention. Oh, well. We've got enough time. It's not that big. Just come over here. Just pull me up. No, don't go underwater yet. Uh, maybe we can get over there before he completely submerges. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it, you can do it. You're almost there. Oh, we just missed it. Oh, well. Just get this guy to come up again and we'll get him. But yeah, um... What, what happened after... So we had to have... We had to call AAA. Fortunately, my girlfriend has it. And a guy came and towed us to the center of town where we put gas into it. And jumped it again. And fortunately, it ran far enough to get us back to my girlfriend's house where we stayed the night. And in the morning, I just took my friends back to, to their houses. And it all wrapped itself up. But I'm still sick. So that's why I'm going to be a little nasally and such, but we'll just have to deal, I guess. I mean, I can't really do anything about it. I'm sick, so... And there's going to be moments when I'm going to clear my throat or cough, so... But I want to record. I mean, what am I going to do? I, li I like this Colossus. I mean, he's fun. He's different. All, all the... All the non walking colossi. They're fun because they're different. That's that's it. Like, the bird colossus is always fun because he's flying around, he's flipping you around, and you get to do all these crazy acrobatic things with him. This guy's fun because... Well, he's not really that fun. He's fun if you're not... He's not fun because you're in the water. That's the problem. They didn't really do many bad... They didn't really do the same... Oh, wait. Okay. Alright, so as you can see... This will shock you. 
and if you get shocked while you're underwater, chances are you're gonna let go. So what do you do? You pick him up, stab with the sword, and it deactivates these things. It turns them into black and dead husks. <laughs> oh, it's kinda gross actually. But just keep going. Oh, oh. A little bit back. Don't wanna get shocked. Probably gonna get shot. Oh well. Sometimes we can hold on. And we did. Okay, good. Just go up. Stab. It doesn't even need to be much of a stab. Oh, we missed. Come on. We didn't get it. Oh well. The one thing I'm worried about is his health right Alright, it doesn't need to be much of a stab. Or it shouldn't have to There we go. Put that out. <sighs> Running low on time too because that guy had to take forever because we fell off. I should be able to get this guy in 15 minutes. There's not many that'll take longer than 15 minutes, and of course we drown again. That's okay. We'll, we'll just wait for him to come around. I don't know what to talk about with this guy. I mean. <laughs> What is there really to talk about a sea serpent? He's he's interesting, but he's also a boring one, because all the other ones really can throw you off in interesting ways. This guy can just submerge, that's about it. As far as a uh As far as a Colossus goes, it's kind of boring. Like as the idea goes, because you're just climbing up them. And stabbing him like he's the Loch Ness monster. I mean, it's been done a thousand times in popular media. The whole Loch Ness monster myth. And that's what this guy pretty much is, so. It's kind of stale. But the other guys are more interesting than this guy, so. For now, I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> I could draw a comparison between him and Clanker, even though there's no comparison to draw. You know, Clanker, Clanker's cat. But now I'm just now I'm just referencing other Let's Players because I'm watching the Let's Play play of Dander with Kazooie, with Rocket, Mario, and Splitable and Pinhead. You don't want to hear about other Let's Players if you're watching this. Now I'm just being grouchy. All right, nope, don't fall off. Okay, just keep going up. Oh, man. I'll probably speed a little bit of this up. Hold on. Okay, and break yourself. Oh, what you doing? What you doing? Well, we should be able to get up to that last electric feeler thing. This time. He's kind of be. He usually isn't this difficult. Shock. Sure. There we go. Took out that last thing. We shouldn't be we shouldn't have to lose any more health in this. Alright, now we should start pumping a little bit, trying to actually get us off, which is a little more interesting than just having to deal with his electroshock things. As you can see, he's already almost dead because we do do damage to him with the electroshock things. The first time I actually did this guy, I didn't know about the shocking spines, the electricity. Um, they could actually take them out, and I just figured, hey, you gotta get up to his head and stab him, like all the others. So I was actually able to get up here and get him halfway down before it died. I don't know, it was interesting, that's all. It was different. He's dead now, and we're drowning. So I wonder if we can hang on to his body, actually. But I already let go of Iron One, so... No, I guess not. Ugh. I'm probably going to finish up my paper after this, after we die. So, just wait for that. Wherever they are. Where are you guys? Make sure to drown when we get hit by them, I guess. There we go. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Take it easy.